Alamosa Community Gardens sowed its first seeds in the early 2000s when teachers and community members at Polston Primary School turned the school grounds into a productive and educational garden space for students. This project was the sprout of a much larger effort to address a gap between people and sources of nutritious foods here in the San Luis Valley. Today, the Valley Educational Gardens Initiative has blossomed into a multifaceted program of La Puente Home in partnership with the SLV Food Bank. We work with schools and community programs across the San Luis Valley to address the root causes of hunger and food insecurity by cultivating a relationship with nourishing food from the soil up. Veggie provides garden and nutrition education for over 1,500 youth each year and grows thousands of pounds of fresh produce to benefit the community. Year-round garden production, educational opportunities, and free resources help people raise nutrient-dense foods in their own backyards and communities. So the Valley Educational Gardens Initiative is a garden program here in the San Luis Valley that works to educate youth about food production, gardening, and also to tie in families and adults to connect people with nutritious um, sources of produce that can be grown right here in the San Luis Valley. Here at Garden Camp, we learn about plants, we learn about insects, we learn about the natural environment, we learn about the nutrients that come from our foods. We have fun together. It's a very positive space. Um, for kids in the community to come and learn together, learn how to work together, basically participate in growing their own food, which can be a very gratifying experience for young kids. Having that sort of appreciation connects back with nutrition. A kid that grows a carrot is probably more likely to eat a carrot. Uh, last Thursday, um, I had a lot of fun cutting the tomatoes. It was fun. My favorite part about garden camp was learning all the fun new things and how to harvest and plant. It's the greatest camp. You could go to lots of fun gardening and you get to make everything. We love Garden Camp! The goal has always been we live in an agriculture area where it is so important that children know where food comes from. And then it's great that the partnership between the Alamosa Food Service using some of the produce that we service in our garden. The reason they come to Garden Cap is to learn and it's a whole different way of learning that will impact them their whole life and turn them into these great awesome adults that we want to one day lead our country. This is such an amazing place to see how Veggie, the Integrated Nutrition Education Program, and other programs like Cooking Matters come together. There is a very strong nutrition cognition connection. We know without a doubt that when kids are properly nourished and well fed, they perform better in school. They have better social emotional abilities. They relate to their peers better. Basically, they are more successful in life because the, the quality of nutrition that they're getting is allowing their body to function at peak performance. We really want to educate as much of the community as we can about this because our kids don't only eat at home and our kids don't only eat at school. It takes up to 15 times for kids to see something or taste something new or different and start to say that they like it or start to say that it's something that they're going to ask their parents to purchase or put on their plate willingly. Every step of the way, we are trying to encourage schools, communities, and families to be able to access the, those fresh and nutritious foods and also be able to prepare them and have the knowledge that they're setting their kids up for success that way. So what we need to do is have these programs, schools, communities, gardens, community centers that are working together to give consistent education to our kids, our families, our parents, and how it'll set them up for lifelong success. We have kids here in the summer that, that go to our community center. And sometimes we offer summer school, sometimes we don't. But they went ahead and started garden classes with our students once a week and they would come out, bring our students out. Some of those same students were the students that planted some of those plants early in the spring. And so we envision this garden getting better every year. Uh, if we have the resources and stuff, there's, there, I think the opportunities of its growth are endless. So gardens are a chance to present kids with um, an integrated learning approach that is very enjoyable 
and that's very effective. Being a part of the food bank allows us to supplement the produce that the food bank is able to give to clients. Through that program, we're able to grow produce here locally, which that produce comes back to benefit us. Um, we're able to use it in our food pantries. So really, we're in the business of not just providing produce and nutrient-dense foods for people, but also empowering them to be able to use it, to be able to cook it at home. Veggie's exposure here at the food bank, we're reaching thousands of families a year. Growing food for the food bank, I think, is a really, really great model to kind of reclaim our community food resources and to get people involved in this awesome activity that is growing food. What we harvest out of here goes directly to the shelter, and we've harvested probably three dozen good fresh salads out of here from the dome. The growing season here at this elevation is so short. This grow dome is really beneficial. You can start your produce early and continue it virtually year round. As you can see, lots of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got some chard, some uh, lipstick peppers coming here. Got some spinach here that I will be taking out shortly because I have more spinach planted over here. And working with the Bridgie program to provide stuff for the shelter, that's that's a big, big plus. Sí, hizo meeting con los con, con las personas de aquí de que vi, vi, vivimos en Tierra Nueva. Al principio todo fue muy bonito. Crecemos brócoli, crecemos calabazas, crecemos tomate, crecemos cilantro. Este año sembramos un poquito tarde, por eso apenas empieza a producir, pero ahí está, o sea, está, estamos produciendo. Every week we have community garden night out here and we're harvesting some carrots tonight. There's lots to harvest since we're in our peak garden time. We welcome community members to come out and help learn how to grow food from the ground up. Well, it's very important, I feel, for communities to have a place like this where you can actually grow real food because when you think about our food supplies in America are suffering from uh, way over process. So I'm very into health, very into what it means to have gardens, so I'm always willing to help out. So these are our quinoa plants. This is a new crop that we're growing this year, and we specifically wanted to grow quinoa because it grows in the San Luis Valley. It's a very unique ty type of crop that comes from the Andes of South America. So this is a very happy experiment. One little quinoa seed, very tiny, um, produces this whole quinoa plant. So really showing the bountiful nature of just growing a garden and how economical it can be to grow our own food in just a little a little plot of land here. So the Valley Educational Gardens Initiative allows La Puente to extend its reach in the community through our garden programs and partnerships. It allows us to grow food that is going to be um, utilized to the benefit of the homeless shelter and food bank clients and to increase access to nutritious foods and also to allow a really innovative approach around integrated education that is designed to be of a really holistic benefit to the community. Our branching efforts are possible because of the voluntary and financial involvement of people willing to dig in and help. We couldn't grow without support from those who contribute their interests, ideas, time and dollars to our work. Get involved today 